What's going on, guys? Antonio here. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up for me. Let's get into it. All right. So uh, Jason Momoa just can't stay out of the news lately. Um, uh, you know, a week ago, him and his wife, uh, Lisa Bonet, they announced that they are splitting up. They are divorcing. Uh, I think they've been together like 17 years. Um, you know, they got a couple kids together. It is what it is. Um, I saw some of the uh, gossip sites saying that uh, apparently Jason was hooking up with Amber Heard on the set of Aquaman 2. But again, though, that's allegedly they, they don't have any, at least as far as I know, I haven't seen any. A lot of times when they put those rumors out, they'll have like the telescopic lens and they'll have a photo of one person kissing another or doing something. You know what I'm saying? So hey, none of that stuff, if that stuff was out there, it would have popped up online by now. So, uh, but yeah, it's it's rumored that uh, Jason uh, was hooking up with Amber uh, while they were shooting Aquaman 2, which I'm looking forward to, by the way. Um, but now, uh, the, you know, Jason, there's another photo that popped up of him just like two days ago. And he looked like he was about 40, 50 pounds overweight, which that crate, it looked crazy. When you look at Jason Momoa, Jason Momoa, like in Game of Thrones or Conan, that dude's in insane, crazy shape. That dude works out. But I know a lot of times these guys uh, that do like fitness and modeling and stuff, they kind of they kind of work out in cycles. So he just finished Aquaman 2. They just wrapped that. So... Now he's like, okay, I'm going to take a couple weeks off and I'm going to be able to eat some cheeseburgers and do whatever I need to do. And then when it gets time for me to go back to work, I'll start, uh, you know, doing the, the protein meals and doing all that kind of stuff. Uh, the, same thing with Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel, there was a photo of Vin Diesel from uh, about a year and a half ago and he was on a yacht with his wife and his kids and he had the dad belly. He had, he literally looked like he was carrying a, a baby about three months. He had a, like a three month old in his belly. And, uh, but then, you know, he got time to go back to shoot Fast and the Furious and he works out and does the stuff that he's supposed to do. Um, so I wasn't really worried about that. Uh, uh I did see, um, uh, somebody, you know, it's one thing when they take these, they, they're like with the telescopic lenses and they do that. Um, he had apparently he's taken his, he took his wedding ring off, but like I said, they announced that they are, uh, divorced. And so he didn't have his wedding ring on in the photo. Um, I saw that. I love when they zoom in and they're like, Oh, ain't got the wedding ring on. But I mean, he already told you guys to, you know, that they've decided to separate. So that shouldn't be a surprise. But what is a surprise is apparently Vin Diesel has, uh, reached out to Jason Momoa and, uh, they, they are in negotiations for him to appear in Fast and the Furious 10. Um, I, you know, like I said, I watch all the Fast and the Furious movies, but uh, some of them, I got to be honest, some of the Fast and Furious stuff is a little too wild for me. Like this last one, which I think is streaming Fast Fast 9, I think it's streaming on HBO Max right now. If I'm not, I know it's on one of the streams. I'm pretty sure it's on HBO Max, and um, but I watched it. I've watched it a couple times. It's not a bad movie. It had John Cena in it, but which, by the way, John Cena in Peacemaker you got to watch that. Like, watch John Cena in Peacemaker. I was, I, I find Peacemaker to be one of the best, especially uh, as a comic book fan, Peacemaker, watch John Cena in that. But um, you watch uh, Fast and the Furious 9, they literally drove a car into outer space. Uh, that's a little over the top that they drove a car into outer space. And so <laughs> it'll be interesting to see if, uh, like I said, they're still in negotiations. But I, I see a couple of, of uh, credible, like uh, comic, comicbook.com ran it and Variety and Hollywood Report, Deadline. There's a couple of uh, legitimate uh, entertainment websites that are saying that Jason Momoa is at least in negotiations to join the Fast and the Furious franchise. We do know that The Rock has said unequivocally that he will not be back, even though Jason Momoa, uh, uh, yeah, I'm talking, uh, even though Vin Diesel publicly on Instagram uh, said that, you know, he'd like for The Rock to come back, and The Rock was just like, nah, I'm good, bro. Um, you do you, though. Uh, but, um, I, 
like I said, I like Jason Momoa. Um, I like him as an actor. He seems like a decent guy. Um, you know, just looks like a guy that you would just sit down and have a couple of beers with and chill with. Um, and even though, like I said, the Fast and Furious franchise is goofy, but it's what I think Fast and Furious movies have generated like over five billion, six billion dollars, I think. Uh, so they're doing numbers, uh, so they can drive more cars into space. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just curious to see what, uh, is Jason would if Jason Momoa does join the Fast and the Furious franchise, would he be playing a villain uh, or another or, or another hero or whatever? I, I'm just like I said, I'm curious to see. Hopefully, they get everything worked out, and uh, Jason Momoa is is actually going to be in Fast and the Furious Ten because I, um, like I said, I like him. I'd like to see that happen. But uh, what do you guys think? Jason Momoa is in negotiations to join. Fast and the Furious 10. Get in the comments. Let me know what you guys think. I'm out. Place the best.com, guys. Are you tired of crapping out on sites like FanDuel and DraftKings? Go to place the best.com. Set your fantasy lineup. Baseball, football, basketball, hockey. They got them all. They'll set your lineup. 30 days is only $1. You can go. You can sign up right now. That 30 days is only a dollar. Place thebets.com and get that scribble. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and please check out my podcast at anchor.fm slash Akari Press or just type in Akari Press on your favorite streaming platform today.